Hello, today we're going to talk about finding the volume of a rectangular prism. All right, the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism is volume equals length times width times height or just length times width times height. So in a rectangular prism, you have a rectangle. To find the actual rectangle area is length times width. So if you just had a flat surface, you have a rectangle. And the height is just adding on to the back of it. So just adding one more thing onto it. So if I have a rectangular prism, and I say my length is five, my width is six, and my height is 10, all right? So volume equals five times six times 10. And that gives me 30 times 10, which is 300. And I'm just gonna call this units cubed. All right, something cubed is how you are volume because you're multiplying three things. Length times width times height. When you find area, you're only multiplying two things together, so it's squared. This is always cubed. Here's example number two. I need to know my volume. I'll say my length is 10 times my width times my height. <coughs> I got something in my throat, sorry. So 10 times eight is 80, then times 12 is 960. And we'll say this is units cubed. It has to be cubed. Now this is our last one. So I'm gonna tell you our volume is 648 meters cubed. So this whole thing is 648 meters cubed. I'm gonna tell you my length is 12 and my width is nine. So what is my height? So I know my volume is 648. And I know I have 12 times 9 times x. So that gives me 108x equals 648. Divide by 108, divide by 108, and I get 6 equals x. So my height is 6 meters. All right, now this is the last thing that's in this lesson. For some reason, they throw random stuff at you. So if they give you, um, make sure you're watching the units. So there's 12 inches in a foot. Um, and just look at all the other ones because they're trying to trick you on some of them and use different units. Uh, but just look at the conversion charts that they have there and that should help you out. All right, this has been finding the volume of rectangular prism, just length times width times height, and then check the conversions that they have in there to make sure all your units match up. If they don't match up, then you have to convert one of them. There is one that says centimeters and meters. And there's another one that says inches and feet. Make sure you check those first and good luck.